Shalom. Before I get started, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Rakhal Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule and teach well. Peace and safety to the Ikem that's around the four corners of the world that's pushing out this truth. Giving all diligence and putting their lives on the line to do so. This is the brother Karat Zahi out of the GMS Atlanta camp. He's here with a uh, uh, lesson going in on the topic of uh, not uh, focusing you know, on the wicked, but focus on your own salvation. You know, because it's, it's uh, written that we, that we must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, and the scriptures tell us the judgment, you know, that, uh, you know, the wicked, which are the, uh, which are the two-thirds of Israel, you know, and uh, these other heathen nations. The scriptures tell us, you know, the judgment that they are going to receive, which is, uh, you know, plagues, famine, you know, uh, uh, they're, they're going to uh, receive, they're going to be in America when the missiles hit. You know, uh, you know, this, basically this, the scriptures tell us, you know, what's going to happen to the wicked, but it's up to us, you know, or, or to your own self, you know, to stay on that righteous path, that straight gate, you know, so don't, uh, you know, so much focus on, you know, what the wicked are doing because, hey, man, they're wicked at the end of the day, you know, it's like, it's like you having, you know, a, a, a part in the movie, you know, you having a role in the movie, <coughs> so like, you having a role in the movie, you know, and, you, and you're so focused, you know, on the, the other actors, you know, that you're forgetting your own scripts, you know, you're forgetting your own parts, you know, so it's, it's, it's important to focus, you know, on what you have to do to receive salvation, you know, other than what the wicked are doing, you know. And uh, I'm going to just get a couple of scriptures, you know, to back up my point. Abba Ratazad, uh, this uh, video will be edifying. It's Psalms 37, and I'll start at the top, which, uh, you know, the bishop, you know, uh, and I cap, you know, uh, put this, uh, this precept in our um, Hebrew group, you know, uh, and it's, uh, to send up, uh, you know, that you can send it up as a prayer, you know. And uh, but without further ado, this is Psalms 37 and 1. It says, A psalm of David, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, you know. So, uh, it says, Worry and fret means uh, not worry, you know. So, it says, Fret not, you know. So, and we're not to worry ourselves over evildoers. You know, always worrying about, you know, what the wicked are doing, or, you know, everything, you know, that, uh, everything that, uh, you know, the wicked, you know, are doing, it, it just, uh, you know, it, it, it causes you not to be yourself, you know, don't worry about it because the wicked are going to be the wicked, you know. It says, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. You know, so you're not supposed to be envious of the workers of iniquity. What's iniquity? Uh, that's sin upon sin. You know? And it's verse 2. It says, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You know, so this is, once again, like I said before, scriptures tell us what's going to happen to the evildoers and the wicked you know so don't don't always have your focus you know on you know uh what the wicked do man you know we are you know that the wicked you know are going to eat pork commit adultery you know not uh keep the sabbath day they're gonna uh they're gonna go off you know but are you being uh you know, that righteous servant, you know, or you just uh, f uh, uh, focusing on everything that the wicked doing and you're forgetting your role in the movie, man. You know? I'm going to reread that again. It's Psalm 37 and 2. It says, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. You know? So basically, mean it dead, man. 
you know, you ever seen, you know, a, um, you know, a plant die out, you know, it, it's dry, it's rotted, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's uh, full color, you know, that's what's going to happen to the, uh, you know, the wicked, you know, so don't worry about, you know, uh, uh, of course, you got to, you know, get on uh, uh, two-thirds, especially, uh, I mean, the wicked, especially uh, two-thirds of the pe people of our nation, you know, because they have a chance of salvation, you know, but don't make that your whole focus, man, you know? Don't make that, you know, why the, the, uh, the, the best is the reason why you're in the truth, so you can get on the, uh, the wicked, man. You know, we're supposed to be receiving that, that uh, trying to, uh, you know, earn that crown, put on our head from uh, our Lord Yahushua. You know, that's that's the that's really the um, you know the main reason why we should uh, you know uh, uh, be in this fight. Uh, you know, not to uh, just curse out niggas and uh, so-called white men. You know. Because it's a saying in the world that whatever, you know, energy that you, that you push out, you know, uh, it's the same energy that you're going to receive, you know. So if you're focusing on, you know, what the wicked are doing, you're going to end up doing the same things. Now, why? Because you're being envious of it, you know. As we said in Psalms 37, man, you know, if you're always worried about, you know, uh, Jake having a you know a haircut or and we you understand that Jake is gonna get edge ups man they get they off you know does it make it right for them to do that no you know do we do we uh, still get on Jake uh, 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 for doing it of course you know but every, don't, don't every Jake you see you know you just out. You know, in the world, every Jake you see, you know, it's like he got a haircut, he got a haircut, you know, and you're not focusing on what you're doing, you know, is that there's something wrong with, the, with that picture, man? You know, we're in the we're in the latter days where uh, the Lord shall visit the earth, man. You know, and what the scriptures tell us, shall he come back? Uh, I'm roughly paraphrasing, uh, when he come back, who shall he find so doing? You know. Focus on your part, you know, in the script, man. It's Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, so it's up to us, you know, to, uh, you know, to work out our own salvation, man. You know? Uh, I I forget who said it in our group, you know, but they just made the same. I believe it was uh, your brother, uh, Abba Abadi, you know, he did a lesson, you know, just basically stating, you know, uh, send up more blessings than, than curses, man, you know? Why? Because our people are already, you know, <clears throat> you know, beat up from being oppressed by our enemies, you know? Uh, they already, you know, at a lower state, man. You know, try to send up more blessings, man. You know, it's just a um, an act that you could try to exercise. You know, because hey, man, by you know, not this not being the reason why you're doing it, but by you sending up blessings, you may receive more blessings from y'all by shimmy y'all shot. You know. This is Revelation 22 and 11. It says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. You know? So, hey, man. Let's get... I wanted to pull that uh, definition of uh, unjust. It says, Not based on or behaving according to what is morally right and fair. It says, Resistance to unjust laws. You know? So, hey... Basically, uh, unjust meaning the wicked, man. You know, it says not based on or behaving according to what is morally right or fair. 
you know? So those, you know, not living by the law, statutes, and commandments, man, you know, to the best of, of their ability, you know? Says he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And, the, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. You know, so we have to continue in righteousness and holiness, you know, and let the unjust and the filthy continue on their path, man. You know, because the Lord, you know, is going to sit. So like it's going to send, you know, um, those of, uh, of them that's uh, meet for repentance, man, or acceptable, acceptable for repentance. You know, <clears throat> I'm gonna close off on this last scripture. So I can leave a song. This is Second Edges chapter fifteen, in verse three. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. In which that word incredulity means the unbelief, you know, or the unfaith, you know. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. You know, so don't let the unbelief, you know, uh, uh, of, the, of these people trouble you, man. You know, you you we know that we have the truth, man. You know, not being proud, you know, but just being confident in our Lord. Yahweh about to me out shot. You know, we know that we're doing, you know, uh, you know, the best, you know, or striving to do the best that we can do. You know, so don't let the unbelief of these people cause you, you know, to lose your crown, man. You know. Scriptures tell us hold fast to what uh, uh, Thou has uh, been taught. You know, roughly paraphrasing. You know, you know. It says, verse four, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You know, and that's really uh, uh, clear to the point, man. You know, <clears throat> the scriptures tell us what's going to happen. You know, to the unfaithful, un un man. You know, they're going to die. You know. They're going to die. We're in, we're in the uh, valley of the shadow of death. We're going to see people going off everywhere that we go, man. But don't let that, you know, uh, 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 steer you off of, of, of the path that, that you're supposed to be on, man. Because at the end of the day, we understand that the judgment, you know, that the, the wicked is going to receive, man, which is death. You know, that's the end all be all for the wicked, death, you know. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to hit on that point, you know, just uh, being better, just being more positive, you know, having a, a more positive output, you know, um, you know, uh, in, in, in our uh, lives, you know, because we are, uh, 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 you know, Lord willing that we continue, we'll be joint heirs with y'all by sending y'all shot, you know, uh, and I just wanted to, uh, you know, well, I touch on that, but uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. You know, I'm going to go ahead and close out by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, Jim Messer, Rule, and Teach Well. Peace and safety to the Akim that surround the four corners of the world that's pushing out this truth. Till the next time, Shalom.